this also is harder. I stopped doing them as much as I did the other ones. Start my knees. The biceps? No, no, those are hard. The rear delts. Yeah. Okay. Those are beautiful. I mean, it's not how I showed you, but it's it's still working this muscle, isn't it? Right there. Give me an arch here. All right. Stand up. It's hard. Yes, it is. I'm gonna use the set. No, 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 no. Come on over. Legs together. Okay. Bend over like this. I want you to feel a pain right here. Okay, now give me that arch. I want a bowl of soup. Do you feel it? Now keep bending. Get your back parallel to the ground. Keep that arch right there. Now let your arms dangle in front of you. In front of you, you're not dangling. All right, now let your palms face each other. Give me that arch again. There it is. Now I want you to look right here. Up here. If you can't see that, we got a problem. Now that is the perfect arch. That's up straight back, okay? Give me a little more of an arch. A little more, a little more, a little more. Keep going. Okay, now bring this arm to right here. Okay, now do that with the other arm. Yeah, perfect. Keep going, give me 20. One, two. Now from that position, try to get the weights that way about a foot. Yeah. Right here? Tell me it's right there. Now, see how your arms aren't bent like they were in the first ones? They're at about a 45. It's perfect. Give me that arch. I've got a round here. Now, your butt has to do the work right here, and you're avoiding it. So go ahead and stand up. This is you. Now, your back's kind of straight, but you're actually a little more like this, OK? I'm asking you to sit down into it. Give me a bowl of soup. So your back's on a 45, and bring it out. Back. Come on over. Face this way. It's actually good to know what I'm talking about because this is the kind of stuff that I'll fall out. Yep. All right, turn around. All right, show me a bowl of soup. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lift up your toes. Toes? If you can't lift up on your toes, you're not sitting into it. Nope, those are your heels. So you're going to be like this. Lift up your toes, lift up your toes. That's the right position. Now give me that arch. Okay, stand up. Arch your back as much as you can from this position. Feel that arch? That's the arch. Now bend your legs. Now lean forward. Keep going. Keep this arch. Is it hurting right here in your hip flexors? All right, then keep sitting. Yeah, now kick those arms out and do it. Money. As long as that's a straight line, it's beautiful. As soon as it starts to arch, and it will when you get tired, and it's okay toward the end, but at the very beginning, now, in the end, these elbows, I would really want them pointing toward the ceiling. So point it toward the ceiling. <coughs> Slow down real quick. Point these this way. Don't, don't hold them out. Just rest. Now point your arms. To, uh, um, don't move them. Point your wrists toward each other. Okay. See how this elbow is pointing against that wall? And as you come up, it'll point against the ceiling. You don't want it pointing toward me. You want it pointing toward the ceiling or that way. Get your elbow to point that way. Yep. So instead of doing this, we're doing this. Okay. My elbow. And then if I'm worried about it, I just twist my arms. So I know my elbows are pointing straight up. So as I go in right here, it's like a perfect line. Hug in a barrel, bent over. Now nah, you forgot my back. See, now my back is bent. Sit into it. Can I lift up on my toes? Yes. So I know my butt is engaged. I'm solid. Boom. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. Turn my wrist. Make sure my elbows are out. Always just remember to do that. Try again. Okay, so that's three. One more time. Okay. We're here to work out. Oh. <clears throat> okay, your palms will always face each other. Yeah. Money. Why is that elbow pointing at me? Yep. To turn your wrist. So you remember we went over this last time. 
I need you to be able to turn this without this moving. So once you put it here, in theory, it'll still move, right? Yeah. So every time I tell you to do this, you go like that. I want this to stay there and that to stay there. So it's that. Yep. Wait, your elbow's facing me. Yeah. Perfect. Your elbow's still facing me. But your wrists are now pointing toward each other. Here, take a rest. I'll show you that it's possible. This is where you're starting. From this position, leave your elbows where they are and turn your wrist. This is what you keep doing. I want, or in the same position, this. Now, from here, I make sure I'm set. Lift up on my toes, my elbows are out, and I'm gonna go out that way. One, two, three. And if I'm worried that I'm not doing it right, I'll straighten my arms. One. Two. I'm just, what, where's my, what, what am I, how was I doing it? Where are my elbows? Am I doing it? Um, here. So every time I say, I want this elbow to be pointing towards you. Or in better words, toward the ceiling when it's at the top. And what am I doing? It's going back. Yeah. But I have my hands out in front of me now. Yeah, but you're still doing that. Uh, so you're bent over doing this. When, where's that elbow pointing? Right. It's not pointing toward the ceiling. Right. Anytime your elbow's not pointing toward the ceiling, just remember that it's bad. Okay. Try it again. Oh. Lift up on your toes. Lift up on your, there it is. Give me my arch. Okay. Let's do straight arms. Yep. Now you got it. That elbow's still pointing toward me though. How's that feel? Okay. Where's that burning? Okay, I remember in the last video I showed you these and I remember saying, I will finish this with the weight of my arms. 10 pounds is actually heavy for this move. That's, I think, what you're having a problem with. Mm -hmm. Where you get over the, uh, the weight. That's a muscle that's about that big and that wide. And you're training tens. At that same, this meat piece of meat is much bigger and you're training it with that. It's not fair. Either you're going too light with this or too heavy with this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you think it's just too heavy with that one? I think it's just too heavy. I think I see that probably would be very good advice because uh, it would probably make that exercise more enjoyable if I did it right. It would go a little bit better <laughs> As with most of them, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so I love it. Get you, yeah, get some more. He said, uh, well, wow, doing that right or doing it with less weight would probably make it a little more enjoyable. Damn straight. <laughs> well. I'll incorporate the um, ab aspect of it. You know, um, what do they call it? Thing? What's it called? The, uh, Hanging leg ups or knee ups? Yeah, uh, both. Okay. In between sets, as a way to kind of um, not fatigue my muscle. I'm doing it. Right. So as opposed to doing like, and also not to put as much stress on my lower back. Like I'm just doing like, let's say, you know, three and three of both those. I, okay. Uh, my only response to that is, is I over. I lose my clients because I want them to reach their potential. I, I don't err on the side of overtraining them, but I definitely make sure their workouts are badass. So what you're telling me is, is my workout's not badass enough for you? No. Because I, you're adding things into it you, when you should be over there dying. Not so much adding it. I'm more like, as opposed to like, let's say you'll do, you'll do, um, you'll do abs. Um, At the end. Right. Yeah. Independent. Yeah. So I'll incorporate it in between to uh, not to put, not to have it all done at one specific time. Why? So it's not going to strain on my lower back for those things. But they, 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 I found that they put a lot of, especially the leg ups. Is you still walking? Yeah. Any problems with your lower back? No. no. Then don't worry about it. Right. Yeah. We want a strong lower back, right? Yeah. I just watched, I just tried to get you to arch your back for 10 minutes and we couldn't arch it because your back's not strong. So I want to wear that out in order. Um, in other words, uh, Arnold says to do 50 straight sit-ups. 
well, if I want a six pack like Arnold's and I decide to do five sets of 10 sit-ups throughout my hour long workout, instead of that 50 at the end of it, what are the odds that I'm gonna have abs like Arnold? Uh, another thing with that too, we'll, I'll show you those. Now, the manipulation to that is, take that workout and do it at the beginning. So if I've got you training abs at, at the end, do them at the beginning. Okay. Just knock them out. And not do, not do half abs. Don't do half abs. Okay, all right. Yeah, never do that. Because it's a, it's a volume training is what they call it. You, you, you're in a sense, in order, it's, it's like taking, it's like if I write this workout, we're doing eight sets of eight. If you take longer than 25 to 30 seconds rest, you're not doing eight sets of eight. You're doing whatever the hell you came up with. You know what I mean? So it totally goes away from it. Now you're gonna be going, well, I'm too tired to do it again. That's the idea. You know what I mean? Or um, it could be we're power training and we're working on super, super large, dense, uh, massive weights and you want to do a rest of a minute. But that equation calls for a rest of three minutes. You're not gonna be able to push the weight that that called for without that rest. There's no way. You know what I mean? That's why I don't have you maxing out and stuff right now because we're, we're, our, our rest times are so slow, or excuse me, are so quick, okay? So we're gonna start off with a weight that is not your normal weight, but that weight will seem much, much heavier by the time we finish. Deal? And, and we're doing, we're doing um how many reps per set? You're gonna do eight. Eight. You're gonna rest 20 seconds, up to 30, right. and you're gonna do eight more. And how many of those are you? You're gonna do eight. Eight of those. Total exactly. of 64 reps. Got it. for one exercise. Now, for one exercise. And how many exercises are we We're gonna do three, okay. which equals 24 reps. 24 sets, excuse me. So today we're gonna to start you off with 45s. What are we doing? We're gonna do squats. Okay. Do you want me to show me the exercise first? Yep. These ones, we're gonna do legs together. I'm gonna to look in the mirror. I'm gonna make sure I'm in a good form. Arch my back. Find my gur. Know that I'm gonna be doing this for the next four minutes. And frickin' rock star it. One. Two. Three. Four. All the way to eight. And you get to rest and you do it again. I'm gonna put your weights right here because they're easier to grab. Yep. Now my weights, your weights are gonna come up within about this far of the ground. You're a tall guy. Okay, so anywhere within there. Now, in order, find your gur. Remember why you came here. You're a badass. You're gonna watch this man right there transform. You're gonna literally make happen, will into your life, your goal. And you do it right now. Legs closer together. Thank you. Set them right here when you're done. Eight. Heart rate. 91. 91. All right. Start it. Starting off with 91. 10. Nine. Eight. That will hit 160. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. You start grabbing them at about four seconds out because you know you gotta go again. Oh! One. Two. Get down. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Get down. Come on. What are we at now? Six, seven, eight, nine, six, five, four. Pick them up. Three, two, one. Go ahead and get going again. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven. Doing a lot of back right now. Go ahead and set them down. Okay, we're getting our, we're getting our back kicked right now and that's fine. That's the secondary muscle. You're saying it hurts? It's because you're using a lot of it instead of your legs. Just like with the rear delts, I'm trying to get you to engage your legs. 
So the manipulation to that is gonna be, we're gonna have you sit on this bench. So your arms are gonna be the same exact spot. You're gonna come down until you tap, come back up. I was doing, what was I doing? You're gonna basically have these weights in your hands. What was I doing? Well, how did you know my, my back? Uh, because your butt wasn't going close enough to the ground. Okay. But the weights were still getting there. So your pivot point was at your hips instead of your knees. Got it. You know what I mean? Instead of doing that, I had to do that and put my hands forward. We're doing this. Uh, and you made it look way prettier than that, but let's go. Come on. Have a seat. Uh, that didn't count. One. Yeah! Two. Now give me that strong back or we will hurt it. Three. Hell yes. We're about to find out what legs means. Four. You will take me to eight. Five. You will take me to eight. Six. Give me that strong back. Seven. Come on. You will take me to eight. You will get there now. Rack them. Put them over there. Okay, what happened all of a sudden? This sense of accountability, that's a cheat, okay? It's not a cheat, but it is. It allows you to stop and start again. In fact, I actually love the start and stop theory. Heart rate. We did two sets at 90 and 100. Two BS sets to warm up, okay? We did one set right, and what did we hit? We went up 20 beats. We haven't even started yet. 40s. And uh, we're just about to pass our 20 second rest, so let's go. This is number four. So whenever you do these on your own, you now know your butt has to touch. Just find that sense of accountability. I had to do it too. I got knees and pins in my knee. Come on. Knees and pins. Come on. One. Okay. We're looking up there. Two. Remember why we came here. Three. We're pissed off that we've been doing it wrong. Four, we're gonna follow our diet because this is not worth it. Five, we will reach our goal. Six, Christmas present to myself is 10 pounds off. Seven, and because I'm a badass, I'm gonna do eight. Rack them right here. Heart rate is 15. 132, all right. Now at the fourth set, we got all the way up to 134. We've raised it. 30 beats in two sets. All right, now we're making calories go away. We're making calories go away from fat. Every time you eat something that's not in the equation, I want you to remember this pain. This is not worth it. You, it's not worth building your life up with one hand and tearing it down with the other. It's not, buddy. Five, four, three, two, one. You look in that mirror and you remember you're a badass right now. One. You got employees? Yeah. Do they have to do what you say? Yeah. So you're the boss. Or you get to be. Four. Come on. Be the boss of yourself right now. Be the boss of your muscles. Be the boss of your legs. Be in control. Be the badass you are. Give me my number. Give it to me. One more. Come on. Up. Beautiful. Rack them right there. This is a perfect example of strip setting, okay? We got him started off with 45s. We realized it's just, it's a little bit too heavy once we get our form perfect. So we're dropping him all the way down. I mean, he'll probably end at 25s. He's got three sets left. Okay, pick up those 35s. He's go quick. You're 20 seconds. When you start to be starting to work out in 20 seconds, you gotta pick your weights up at 15 seconds. Let's see it. That one didn't count. Tap your butt. Tap it, that's a sit. Here, tap it, that one didn't count either. You're gonna see what I mean. That's a tap. Four. Five. Six. Yes. Ooh, this looks good on you. Seven. Come on, look at that face. Eight. All right, right here, right here, right here. 17, 16, 15. Yeah. That's why we always warm up our shoulders. Kimberly, why would you warm up shoulders on, on, on leg day? Why would you do that? <laughs> Anybody I've ever known, they hurt their back or their shoulder or their knee. I'm not gonna have a shoulder injury. So I warm up mine on leg day. 10, nine, heart rate, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, two more, three, two, yeah, started before his 20 seconds, one, two, now he's making it look pretty, show off, three, come on, four, five, give me that bad boy arch, six, come on, seven, come on, eight, take this pain, beautiful. This eight sets of eight's kind of fun, huh? 129. Still not that great for legs, I gotta be honest, but we're gonna get it up. This is an awkward move, okay? If he, if he uh, uh, was comfortable doing this, if the muscle groups that he was engaging were uh, larger and stronger, he'd be shooting through this. It wouldn't take him as long, he'd be doing a little more tap. You will see his heart rate get higher. Beautiful, man. 10, nine, eight, I'm giving you a little longer rest, six, this is more of your 30 second rest. Five, two, one, come on. Each rep, I want you to tell me why you came here. Two, why are you here? Come on. Three, mental game, why are you here? Four, tell me. Results. Results, five, results for what? Perfection. Six, screw perfection, what do you want out of life? Why are you here? You're not gonna get perfection. Seven, come on in, what is it? Rack them, eight. That is your first set, beautiful. Now that I'm not in your ear in the middle of a set, why did you come here today? Why are you doing this? My goal? It's your goal, why, why, what, why? You're already healthy, probably gonna live for a while. You don't smoke, you're, I mean, you're, you're living okay. Cause I wanna get better. Better. I want to improve. Why? It's just natural desire? You want to look better than your buddy on the boat? What the hell? I want to reach my potential. Financially, physically, in my marriage, in my, in my relationship, in, my, in my, the way I treat anybody in my life, the way people perceive me. Beautiful. Now this is a one minute rest. Eight sets of eight, you get about a one minute rest. Then you go on to your next exercise and you do eight more sets with that same 20 second rest. Right here. One, all the way to eight. You sell my butt? My legs a little bit wider? It's not this, it's this. All down, this is 50 pounds. My little sister can do this. Now, is that your, yeah, I like how you got it. Lift your shoulders up a little bit. So it's more resty, yeah, perfect. So you see how it's kind of resting, you're not holding? Okay, dude, impress me. I need your butt on your heels. Two. Three, do not tap your elbows. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, put it down. Okay, this is gonna be an active rest. I want your hands right here. I want you to put your butt on your heels. Now get on your heels. Okay, now put your butt on your heels. Okay. This is you. That's where I want you. See my heels? They're on the ground. Get yours on the ground. Okay, this is what you're doing. Yeah. I need that. So go ahead and sit down. It's called sitting down like a baby. A baby sits down with their butt heading that way. They just trust. So you're, you're totally missing that muscle group. Get down. <coughs> okay. Now, I want you to hold my hand. I want you to trust me. I'm not gonna let you fall on your ass. Now I want you to arch your back the other way. Okay. Now is that stretching right here? Where's that hurting? Where was the inability to get there? What was it? And balance maybe. What's that? Hey, balance. Balance, now lift up your toes. Okay. Beautiful. We're not gonna count that first set, let's go. Now, I don't want you to go down that far because you're gonna hurt your back. You do not have the, uh, the flexibility. This is actually a perfect example. 
he does not have the flexibility to do what I'm asking him to do. That's fair. There's a lot of things I can't do either. So what I want you to do is go down as far as you can. All right. Once again, we're going to use this as your example. Because we're using half the weight and we're up here, your tap is that. I want to just feel the bottom of the fat on your butt cheeks jiggle is your tap. If you sit into it, if you feel an indention in your butt, more than a half an inch, I'm not counting it. Meaning what, do you want me to go down how? I want you to touch your butt on that chair oh. and I want it to feel like that to your butt. If it feels like that, it doesn't count. Deal? Yeah. Okay, eight sets of eight. Ooh, buddy, I like what you've got here. You got your gur, you brought it with you today. Legs are touching. Legs are touching. Legs are touching. Yep. Have a seat. Okay, I need your back to stay straight and I need your legs to bend. I'll, I've got you. One, okay, that one didn't count. Touch, barely. Two, yeah. Three, barely, hey, wait, wait. Control yourself, barely touch. Your heart rate's not getting high because you're going through the motion. Yes, yes, I'll spot you, come on. Three, come on. Four, come on. Five, come on. Six. Seven, come on. Yeah. Set one. Heart rate, those are hurt, don't they? Okay, you've gone through your entire training process without engaging your legs. You've manipulated all these years of training without engaging them. I'm asking you to do a squat, a front squat with 50 pounds and it's not getting done, okay? Get excited, this is gonna be fun. Like I'm excited for you now because that means these, these little exercises that have added into this are gonna work very, very well. These are muscle groups you have not engaged. So you're saying, Dave, 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 I, I got problems. It's not, it's not coming off me as fast. It's not this, it's not that. You're not even working the largest muscle groups you have. Your back was doing it. And it comes right back full circle to the beginning of the interview where you said, Dave, my back hurts. Well, hell yes, it's doing all the work. Your back's doing three quarters of your leg workout. Okay, that's why it hurts. We're gonna go through this position again. Your time is up. We're gonna go on to set two and keep thinking about your legs. I want it to hurt here if it hurts anywhere. That's where it hurts me when I do that stretch. Tough. Okay. What's that? That's tough. This is a tough. This is going to be a bitch. You're one set into it. Let's go. Two sets down. No, first set didn't count. That was ugly, dude. Let's go. You're a badass. Come on. We want legs. You want legs? Come on. I want legs. Eight sets of eight. Ooh. One, two, that didn't count. Three, yeah. Four, five. Now, trick, put your heels on this bench real quick. Um, the bottom part, yep. Uh, but just your heels, you've stepped a long way back. Now sit down, this should help. That help, <laughs> you're welcome. That's right in the middle when you want to lift up your heels. Now give me that butt tap, that didn't count. Did, did, did you promise? No, that was the perfect tap then, let's go. Come on. Seven. That's seven, one more, that was seven. Yep, mental, mental. Eight, all right, rack it. That's your perfect weight. Okay, I love, I love the heels. I watch old videos, I watch these old bodybuilders, I'm, I really get into this fitness stuff, and I watch the old guys. I mean, there'd be a worn out two by four in the squat rack. Okay, that means they used it. I'm not, I'm not looking for some tips that some guy writes to fill up an article. That two by four had blood, sweat, and tears on it. I used the same thing. What I asked him to do is he was having a hard time getting down. So because of his flexibility, you would see him, when he wanted to go down, all the way he'd raise up his heels. Well, not good to do that. So, you want the, the, the weight on your heels. So I had him dropping down and coming back up with his foot just on those heels. If you don't have something like that and you're in the squat rack, grab a two by four or two 25 pound weights because uh, by the time they get together, it's almost the right spot if they're not round. Uh, the square ends 
allow you to put your, your, your legs close enough together to do a front squat. Let's go. Can I put this in line? No, right. go. You could if you had more than 20 seconds rest. And yeah, well, be between the next exercise. So our battery died while filming. This is our fourth set. Let's go. One. Two. Watch his butt barely tap. Three. Four. Now I want you to go fast. Five. Faster. Six. Faster. Seven. Faster. Good job. Twenty. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Now you find yourself taking little breaks. Seven. Six. You find yourself doing anything you can do. Five. Four. Three. Two. I love him. One. You get the idea. Stay in your spot until your sets are over. Let's go. Faster. One. Two. Three. Find me another level. Four. Faster. Five. Six. Give me that arch. Give me that arch. Seven. Yeah. Is that eight? <laughs> oh, I wish you could have seen his face. <laughs> oh, oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That, that was eight. That was eight. That was eight. <laughs> I miscounted when I'm talking in the camera. All right. That's the look. Okay. Right here. You've been working out two months by yourself. When was the last time you did it on a mirror? Two months ago. Nah, don't blow smoke up my ass. I mean, I know you did it two months ago. Have you done it one time since? Yeah, maybe once, twice. All right. Okay, how many times have you trained since? <laughs> Four, five, six times a week. Okay, so we're gonna flip that number around. Every once in a while, you're not gonna need to lean up against the mirror. Every once in a while, you just don't have a good workout. It happens, but that is not the norm. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna get back to where we take our feet and put them flat on the ground. You're comfortable. You don't have to go as fast, but you do have to go. Oh! Are you remembering why you came here? Remember why you want this? Every set, every rep. I don't say do it before you work out and you're on the way to the gym. You have to remind yourself every minute, sometimes 10 seconds, because this is not easy. If you don't remember why you came in here, come on, keep that back straight. I got you. Five. Three more sets left. Nope, that was set five. You still counting the first one that didn't count. <laughs> Don't count a rep if it doesn't count. Come on. Work hard. Pick him up. Come on, buddy. You're inspiring the world. Show these guys how it's done. Show them how it's done. One of the mistakes you can make is not lining up with the back of this. I keep moving it for you, but that's a tip. Keep going. Two. Now you're touching this thing flat-footed easily. Three. See how the evolution happens? <sighs> Put the same weight. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. Now. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. He's in a fist fight for his potential right now. Six, five, four. Him in a ten square foot area. Three, two, a couple dumbbells. One, what you can do with a bench. Let's go. Potential. One, look good in that bathing suit. Two, three, have a fat wallet and a skinny body. Five, six, come on. Seven, eight, yes. Oh. All right, 143, getting right up there. 
143 isn't bad. I mean, it's not, it's not good. I'll, I'll, I'll say it flat out, it's not that great. But 143 is good, okay? It's not great. Doing an exercise and hitting 143 that you're not used to, that's totally uncomfortable, that is uh, just blowing your mind, 143 is great. So these are perceptions, these aren't excuses. Let's go. Oh! You even got dirt on your bad boy white shirt. Now this one, I really want you to look in the mirror. I don't want you to remember why you came here today. And I want you to just engrave this pain into your brain and demand it and then remember it. And you're ordering some funky Thai crap to put on your salad. Yeah, here it is. I love it. He's a slow start, but fast when he gets going. Come on. You got one more. We're going to do um, rear lunges. Okay? So you're going to be standing in spot. Uh, it calls for another exercise. We don't have that in here. So we're going to manipulate it and do lunges. This is not our legs, right? Huh? This is not our legs. This is your legs. This, is, this, this A to me is all legs? Yeah. Shit. We got to do 24 sets for a very large muscle group, right? Especially when we're doing this much weight. If we were doing more weight, we could probably get away with less sets. We'd probably get away with 15. Any muscle group. I wrote the workout for you for all the different muscle groups. We're just doing leg day today because that's what you wanted. And no more talking to me because your minute's up. Hey, and when you guys get caught up with your partners, oh, let's chitty chat, let's chitty chat, let's chitty chat. One of you has got to own it and say, our time's up. You got to shut up. Uh, 45s. Lunges. All right, I'll give you a little bit of a break to show you how to do it. Okay. We usually step forward on lunges, right? This one we're stepping back. One, two, you have to do a total of 16 in order to hit your set, okay? Ooh, impress me. This will not be the way you finish with, but this will be the way you start with. Yeah, wait, wait, did we do our motion? Did we remember what we did? You're looking in the mirror, right? Who's there? A badass. Suit aside, HR aside, all the nice things you gotta be to everybody, you're not calling your mother right now. You've transformed into a badass. And then you start your set. Don't forget that. All of a sudden you get stronger. Take one step forward. Take one step forward. Now go ahead and give me a deeper. That lunge is gonna be deep. You gotta go stick that from way back. Yeah, none of those count. That's hard. I know. Okay, let's drop the weight. Let's go with the 40s. Come on. It's supposed to be hard. When you're running up a mountain, what hurts? Your legs, they burn. What happens? You stop. This is lifting weights. So you're here. Boom! Looking in the mirror. Remember why I came? Oh, badass. Okay, this is gonna suck. Let's do it. Boom! You're not stepping back far enough. Yes. Let me get this out of your way. I can tell you right now that back leg is not coming back far enough. Yep. Three. Yeah. Par for the course. 16 sets into legs. What do you want from yourself? Come back forward. We're gonna finish the other one stepping forward. None of that stuff counted. We're gonna go ahead and drop his weight. And we're gonna do a little bit more. I can see it in his eyes that his heart rate uh, is, is what it's supposed to be, okay? But besides that, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, what an original idea. It's magic. No, it's not. It's a heart rate monitor. The hell with all this, the hell with this sweat, the hell with anything going on here. I look at his heart rate and it tells me if he tried, okay? Just so happens today, I have dirt on my shirt, I have sweat on my forehead, and I have a heart rate monitor telling me he's trying. But that still does not mean he's training the muscle group intended. We want butt and we want legs. Right now, we're working a lot of back, okay? And it's 
it's a little bit dangerous what we're doing. We're, we're a little bit loose. We're gonna drop our weights, we're gonna go through the movement, we're gonna kick some ass, and we're gonna do it with 35 pounds in each hand. Okay, we started you off with 45s, now you know your new weight is 35s. And we're doing front? Doing front to start to get you warmed up. Now, the equation calls for rear, but I noticed over here that after four sets, you got into the, you got into the motion, your body became comfortable again. So we're gonna do front for four sets, back for four sets. Okay, that's, your, that's, his, that's manipulating, right? That's what we talked about earlier. Ooh, I loved it. While I was talking, he got his brain in the zone. He actually tuned my ass out, knew he had to start. Loved it. Come on. Okay, another level. Touch my hand. Five. Touch this hand. Six. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You're holding a meeting and you're hitting mute. None of your executives can see you until you come down and touch my hand. If the whole point's to have a meeting and get something done, you're gonna have to unmute your button, okay? These are wide steps. Okay, if I tell you to take a wide step and you do that one more time, I'm gonna throw a fit. Take a step that's another foot forward. Yes, now watch how easier it is to get down. Two. Three. Four. Give me my lunges, the way I want them. So, no. Like that. Yes, no care. Bear's chasing you. Yes, you're supposed to swim. That's normal, dude, that's normal. You're not gonna fall on your head, and if you do, I'll give you five bucks. Come on. Yes. You're squiggling a little bit. You're moving. Money. Come on. Seven. Come on. Eight. Come on. Nine. Don't you dare take them small steps again. Ten. Okay. The next ones are coming back. Stick your left leg back. Oh, I loved it. But you got to go down deeper. Two. Three, four, don't give me that arch. Five, strong back, one more. Wait, 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 wait. Get it down. Demand it of yourself right now. Demand it. Okay, it was ugly, but you did it. That's one set. Yeah, got my first profanity. We're only 17 sets into it, now he's profaning. <laughs> perfect. 15, 14, 13. This is the ultimate strip set. We started with uh, 90 pounds, strapped to them, and now we're finished with uh, 15. But you know what? It does not matter your weight. Get over yourselves, friends. It does not matter your weight. I got friends that can put 200 pound dumbbells in each hand and I wouldn't trade their chest for a little All right? It matters that you did everything you can do. Then your body will grow and you'll have what you want. Let's go. One, those are big steps, I love it. Two, three, par for the course, all you're making me is happy. Five, didn't say I'm injured. Six, seven, eight, do not rob yourself of this step down. This is the one you rob yourself of. That, eight, 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 no nose count. Nine. Ten. Ah! Ah! Eleven. Come on. Twelve. Buddy, you're gonna have to take those big steps. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Give me that arch. Sixteen. Okay, good. Now, when we get hurt is when we mentally lose it. This is a game of diet, nutrition, pain, suffering, and alone, and alertness, okay? Every second, you need to be aware. You're checking your heart rate monitor, you're, you're doing everything, but probably foremost, and I forget this one sometimes in my defense, 
is make sure you're in the perfect position. If you're coming down like this, and that's your set, everything is wrong. You got too much weight on your knee. You're gonna blow out your knee. You're swiveling everywhere. Your, your hips, for instance, are all the way back here, so you're not even really engaging the butt. You gotta swing them forward. Okay, and then when you drop, I can't drop down right here either. I have to literally watch this leg pop back. Ooh, ooh, now I'm down, I'm straight, my hips are forward, I'm feeling just excruciating pain right here. Oh, that's starting to burn now. Okay, that was your 45 second rest, let's go. So slow it down. This is pain and suffering to be endured and enjoyed. Let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you started off wrong. Take a big fucking step, big one. Yes, one. Yes, two. Get the out of your way. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. Yes. Five. Ooh, I love it when I get in your head. Six. Or you get in your head. Seven. You're back in the game. Eight. Yep. Did you feel that stretch right here? I watched it. Give me that drop. Go ahead and drop the knee to the ground. Come on. It's okay. You're supposed to fight. Yep. 11. Come on. Dude, you're impressing me. 12. 13. I'm going to count that one. 14. 15. Guarantee your back hurts right now. 16. Do you know why your back hurts? Tell me why. Why's your back hurt? <laughs> he said because I didn't do it right ah! wake up you're doing it right you're just not doing it perfect now get over there lay down on my set <laughs> come on buddy that's what you call a speed nap alright come on we got five sets left you sure? yeah I'm positive Let's go. One. <laughs> Two. Three. There we go. You're going to do them anyway. Might as well knock them out. Four. Come on. Five. Every time you take a small step, you know it's going to be harder. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah, these are awkward. Nine. 10. Watch this guy turn into a badass. 12. Take off your suit, people are going to die. Come on. 13. Come on. 14. The mugger got the wrong guy. 15. Keep my car. What? 16. Good job. Okay, the next ones we're going to do stationary because I really want him to get the idea that the knee goes down and the body stays perpendicular to the floor. Okay, his torso is really leaning forward. This is a tutorial on how to obviously do some training for him to reference, for me to, to kind of show the world. So as you're going down, the tendency is definitely for your chest to come forward. Of course it is, it's easier. It, you know, you're keeping away from that stretch and the hip flexor and, the, and the, the upper thigh. So not only do you have to square up as you find your body twisting, but you also have to keep your, your body perpendicular to the floor, okay? This is perpendicular, that is not. And that's where we end up when we're tired. And fair enough, when you're tired, you're gonna end up that way. I'm just saying fight it as much as you can. Okay, because the further forward you end up, the closer you are to an injury. These are going to be stationary. We're going to do your right leg first. Okay, so step back here. Arms up. Take your front leg forward. Your left leg. Pretty far. Now you're going to bring this. And you're going to touch my hand. One. Two, three, four. Where's your back? Five. I want to pin. Okay. This has to stay this way. I want you leaning back as you go down. Yeah! Perfect. Come on. Yes. Now you're making me happy. Ooh, I'm getting excited. So, is that eight? All right. Switch legs. Go the other direction. Nope. You got to face that way so I don't have to. There you go. Take a big step forward, big step forward. Okay, Just make that toe in line with the other one. 
There you go. What that does is it pushes that hip forward. Come on. Yeah! Grunt all you want, buddy. One, two, three. Sit down into it. Come on. Four. If you don't touch my arm, it doesn't count. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Come on. Eight. I like that trick as a trainer because then they'll slam their knees down. I scream, 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 scream. Get your knees down. Well, I had one girl just go ahead and let gravity bring her knee down and she smacked it pretty decent on the cement. So I had informed her not to do that. I used all the words and adjectives to prevent it, but she still did it. So sometimes I'll put a pad down. Sometimes, you know, like the bench, it's a sense of accountability for your butt to touch. The ground is a sense of accountability for the lunge, but it's harder than a hand or a pad. So either get real good at your movement and be able to stop yourself an inch from the ground or have a friend put a hand there or a small mat. Let's go. Nope. Oh, sorry. Okay. These are going to be reverse lunges. So bring this leg back. Big one. Okay. See what you're doing every single time. Those two are in line. That one's facing this way and that one's facing that way. I want his feet facing each other. No, face it. Face it what? Um, see these? This is you. I want this. The two toes are facing the same direction. You come back straight. So my, he my, my heels are always up. You want your heel on the ground because it makes it easier. But see what it does? All of a sudden my hip went from being square to the mirror to here. That opens it up and makes it about as easy as okay so error on the side of your toes are already pointing out pointing direct yeah now take one step very far forward yep okay now do it the other way now i want you to do the exact same thing only one step back same foot okay there you go okay now I want you to stay on your toes. And I want you to kick this. Yep. Okay, now they're basically pointing in the same direction. Bring this down and touch the ground. One. Two. Three. That's beautiful, man. This is suffering, isn't it? Four. Five, six, that's why money can't buy this, seven, <coughs> eight, that's why money can't buy this, okay, come on, you got to earn it, it's the most fun thing you could ever do for yourself, to own something that you earn through sweat and tears, come on, give me some, find yourself, this is perfect, this is right now when you're in your brain, you're, you're walking the rope, am I scared, or am I going to fight? I just got poked in the chest by my own self. Am I going to fight back? Am I going to let the coward in me win? Fatigue makes cowards of us all, and we fight. You're not a coward. No, wait, wait, wait. Straighten that leg. Straighten that leg. There we go. Come on. One. That's two. Three. Count of that first one you touched. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. You're freaking badass. Come on. Yes, you are. Give it to me. Good job. Okay. Yes. Sucks, man, doesn't it? How do you feel right now? You know what sucks worse? You have to do several thousand of those. That's part of it. You know? It's like, it's like you know what it is? It's like telling any successful person, you're probably pretty good at your job, right? It took you a lot of years to get good at your job. If somebody had told you that you had to go back, now that you know, now that's fresh in your heart, what it takes to be that good at your job. If somebody told you you had to go back and do it all over again, when the first time you did it, you were ignorance on fire, just trying to get good, trying to get good, you really know what you were doing. You were just doing as much as you could. Now you know. A workout's a two hour thing, start to finish. Then you have to keep duplicating. So what sucks is when you go to the gym, you know exactly how hard it's gonna be. And that's harder than the ignorance on fire. Does that make sense? So you know this is, you have to duplicate this over and over and over and over again with more weight. So you say, Dave, but I want to change the work. I want to change something. Change the weight. 
Change the reps, change the speed. It's the same thing as changing something. Let's go. Three sets left. No weight this time. Hands right here. Pray mode. Okay? I don't care what you believe in. You pray for something right now to get you through this. Pray for yourself to help you. Whatever it is. Go. Uh, this is going to be forward. Just all forward. One. Two. Three. Fire off that front leg. Four. Five. Fire off like you mean it. Six. Seven. Okay, I'm going to put my legs in between yours. Eight. Yep. Yep, keep going. Nine. Ten. What I'm doing is I'm keeping his ankle from swiveling. Eleven. Thirteen. Thirteen. See how close your knee's getting to the ground? Fourteen. It's really kind of unacceptable. Fifteen. Give me one all the way down. Sixteen. Thank you. Now the next set will be doll done with the next leg. That's switching it up. See, we just changed my workout three times, but did the same thing. I'm perfectly fine with you knocking out the pain game with 16 reps on one leg, waiting 20 seconds and going to the other one. Okay? So if that makes the transition switching between legs easier. Now, what I did was, is it was just like me putting two dumbbells in on the outside of your leg, holding this leg from doing this. Because it's still doing a lot of that. When you get tired, it starts to go out, go out, and that hip turns. And we avoid that, that stretch. It's actually an awesome stretch.